ammonites are really cool because not only are they just fascinating animals in their own right, but they're really helpful with biostratigraphy. Before I explain what that means, let me explain what an ammonite is. Picture like uh, an octopus, you know, with a head and eyeballs and tentacles, but then it's inside of a spiral shell, almost like a ram's horn or something. In fact, I think that might be where the name ammonite comes from. Although not all of them are coily shelled. Some ammonites had long straight shells, some had really weird paperclip shaped shells, all kinds of cool stuff. But anyway, ammonites are really neat because they evolve really quickly and they're pretty common. They're really well constrained stratigraphically. So what that means is that clever, talented, passionate people have been able to figure out where these different ammonites come from in the rock layers and map that out. So we basically have like a time map of when these different critters come from. And so if you find a particular kind of ammonite, you immediately know what age the rocks are because they don't last for very long. Different species will evolve and they'll stick around for a while and then pfft, they go extinct. And so they're really, really helpful for finding your place in time. If you find a particular kind of ammonite and uh, you know how to identify it, you can figure out exactly how old those rocks are. We call that biostratigraphy. Bio, like biology, living things. Because ammonites were once living things. Stratigraphy is the study of these rock layers and how they correspond to time. So, uh, biostratigraphy. It's really important stuff.